Hello and welcome back. Our last keynote was about vision and now Carsten will show you how easy it is to use the BBS cockpit. If you have any questions during our live stream, please feel free to write them in the chat and we will answer them later. Welcome Carsten. Thanks Stefan. So my name is Carsten Friedrich. I'm working for Matrix Vision, uh, the competence center for vision at Baluf. I'm leading the development activities uh, for the BVS cockpit software. What is BVS cockpit? Well, uh, we use different words for the function of this software. In fact, it's a machine vision software, which means it helps you configuring your inspections. Therefore, we also name it inspection software or smart vision software. It runs on several different hardware platforms and gives the user under all conditions and cases the same look and feel. My task now is to show you in the next 15 minutes how easy it is to set up an inspection using this software. I'm a good example for that because my normal role is a managing function and I have almost no experience using this software daily or even under uh, industrial conditions. So the software is made to address persons who like to get in touch with machine vision. Persons who have limited or even no expertise in that. Machine vision is very flexible and powerful and also it is quite universal because you can make photos out of almost every object. But this universality also creates complexity and this is uh, causing hesitations on people to get in touch with machine vision. The BVS cockpit software is now made to reduce this hesitation. In fact, it is made to be quite intuitive, it is easy to learn, and this offers you a short development time. And it's also motivating because you reach your targets, you achieve your um, targets quite quickly. What is an important aspect in this context is the tools. In, imagine that BVS Cockpit is a kind of a toolbox. But if you look in your toolbox and you have a large variety of different tools, you may get confused. So we have only um, a limited number of tools and this helps you deciding what is the right tool for the task I want to realize. Even more, the tool names are targeting the application. So it's easy to imagine what they can do for you. And in fact, even if it is limited uh, and a little number on tools, I cannot explain all of them now. Um, I will choose two of them and um, be assured uh, all the tools following the same philosophy. What is also important uh, is the system setup. And um, the system setup is uh, more related to the hardware, the hardware functions, and the software supports these hardware functions. The BVS cockpit is checking the available um, performance, the available hardware features, and offering these to you which are available. So in fact, the Vision solutions are made to be easily integrated in your industrial environment. But I don't want to focus too much on the hardware. My target is something else. And I want to address to you the simplicity of the software. Now I tell you what setup I have chosen. In fact, it's a smart camera. And uh, with a smart camera, uh, of course, the camera is powered. Uh, there is a flashlight and um, the flashlight is also directly connected to the camera quickly and easy to be done and uh, then I have connected the camera to the laptop. I need to check the setup and need to address the camera first. So it is a client server application. The client runs on the laptop and the server is integrated in the camera. Quite easy, you open any browser like I did here with Google Chrome and then I type down the name of the camera. The name of the camera in fact is also written on the label of the camera. That's almost everything. Now the camera needs to start and I have to check if the camera setup was done 
or is done correctly? Of course it is not. First I have to activate the flash and I start taking some pictures and what you see actually is almost nothing. I have to adapt the exposure time. Okay. And I have also to check the focus. I think this is now suitable. Good. So that's the setup of the camera. Um, I like to explain to you what you see here on the display. This is the action menu. Here I choose uh, the different modes of the software. This is the flow control. So I start uh, the software, I run it repetitively or go stepwise through each tool. There is the system setup on the top right. And here is in fact the, 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 the flow control, the, the, the program, the waterfall. Here is uh, what you configure the set of tools. This is a live picture, you saw this already, and this is the inline help. Quite useful, especially when you like to get familiar with this software and start playing with it. Uh, it changes uh, tool by tool. Same is with the result table. It comes uh, down on the bottom of the uh, screen. So it's also changing with each, each tool you select. So my task now is to verify these, these metal plate and in the correct one there is a slot and in the not correct one the slot is missing. So the first thing to be done is to identify the metal plate. I'm choosing the find object tool for that and a wizard is starting and I give the object the name metal plate and then the, the wizard uh, helps me getting through the um, step, stepwise through the installation of the tool. So what I'm, I'm, I've erased the proposed mask. I will draw now the mask which I think will cover the, um, the contour which is related to the object. That's it. Then the calculation has to be done. The camera, in fact, see, sees only the picture and will propose you a mask. Um, but um, it is much better if you uh, decide to write or to draw your own mask because you know much better what is characterizing the object. The calculation needs a little time. You saw that. That's it. Done. Uh, now uh, the software, the wizard, asks you if you want to change the reference point. Nothing for us. I finalize the wizard. Here the reference point can be seen again and I will widen the lock-in range and it's still running and check if the metal plate is identified under all angles. It is, but if I move it out of the lock-in range you see an error. Okay, that's an, an uh, behavior which is almost reasonable, but okay, I want to check this is one metal plate this is the other one, also identified. It looks quite similar. This is the one which has the slot not installed. And this is a completely different one. You see with the red um, corner, with the red box around, this is uh, not the wanted device. Okay, the target now was to find the slot. And for identifying the slot, I will add another tool. It is called Check Brightness. And again, a wizard is opening and I'm focusing into this area to mask the wizard, the, the, the slot correctly. Okay, finish the wizard, that's all, quite easy. And if I've done everything correctly, I will move to the monitor mode and will check now the function. Okay, here 
the device is found, the slot is found, everything is fine. If I move to the metal plate without the slot, oops, what's happening here? Okay. Okay. I lost the connection to the camera. I don't know why. No. I lost the connection to the camera. Okay. That's life. Can happen. Maybe because of the setup here. It is a little bit different than normal. It's not industrial environment, logically. I don't know why, but the connection to the camera is broken. Okay, tricky. Um, I can only convince you it is running. <laughs> we have tested it several times. Um, and you can check um, the slot and the behavior of the slot. And it's a few steps to be done. I only wanted to show you that even if the plate is coming uh, reverted, um, I have to retrain the tool and uh, train the other object and the rest is quite the same. You can influence the um, flow with the so-called smart fields, and the smart fields uh, will then address the uh, check um, brightness tool related to uh, the identified object, either the right one or the reverted one. And also wanted to show you uh, that there are parameters which can be easily selected uh, on the uh, result table. And if you select them, you will see the results in the statistics window, the third window, uh, which is uh, available on the action menu. And then, um, well, that's almost what I wanted to show you live. But life is different than planned. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to finalize this right now. OK, the results are then also something to mention. Um, delivered to the next control unit, for instance, in SPS. And uh, with the hardware of the camera, it is uh, easy to um, uh, choose the right interface. And uh, this is um, quite easy to install under uh, the industrial uh, conditions. OK. So, Unfortunately, I was not able to convince you live that it is so easy to install uh, the software. It is, in case you think that uh, this is um, not complex enough. Um, your objects are more complex. Be assured there is uh, several support levels and also a training center at Balloof available who can help you uh, getting uh, in touch uh, and getting familiar with the software. And if you think it is Le uh, your, um, your, uh, and, and also be assured that there are more expert level functionalities available in the software. And some of them are also explained by my colleague uh, Martin Priems. Thank you for your patience, thank you for your interest, and uh, that's it. Thanks. Thank you, Carsten, for your uh, demonstration of the smart camera. And even if it, uh, we had some life difficulties, um, you recorded it already, I think, just in German, right? Correct. But uh, the German uh, colleagues or the German visitors who are watching this uh, show can watch the video on demand in our exhibit area. And so it's not lost at all. Yeah. And it's, there is the proof that it's really run. Yes. And of course, it is running. So let's see if there are some uh, questions in our chat. Um, there is one coming. 
just another one that I have is um, you just started with one inspection, yeah, but it's only one inspection on the camera itself. No, no, no. Uh, you can realize several inspections and they are loaded in the camera. There is a uh, memory inside and um, uh, you can switch even between the, uh, the different inspections. And uh, yeah, the, the number of uh, inspections can be widely spread. If you have only tiny little inspections, you can have a high number of different inspection all located in the camera. If your inspections are more complex, then the uh, memory space is limited. Okay. And can only be one inspection be run at the same time or can I also run multiple inspections? No, it's running one by one, but you can, that's also what I wanted to show with the smart fields, you can switch between the different tools. Okay, perfect. So let's see our question from the chat. Is it also possible to compare a finished workpiece to a third solid instep format or else? I probably don't get the question. Um, a finished workpiece in a 3D solid in step format or else. Uh, maybe it is meant that uh, there is um, um, a CAD model yeah, probably. Um, available and you compare the photo with the CAD model. Right. Um, it's not, I, I think this is not uh, something which is easily available. Um, you can measure some parameters, that's right. But a full 3D CAD model is probably nothing we, which, we, which will be available um, right now. Okay. Thanks a lot, Carsten. Thanks for your time and thanks for this demonstration of the BVS cockpit. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. We will have a short break and then we will be back soon. Thank you. <laughs>